The Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering is designed to produce graduates who possess knowledge, skills, and attitudes in the application of engineering science and the science of the processes and systems involved in the sustainable production, post-production, and processing of safe food, feed, fiber, timber, and other agricultural and biological materials. The efficient utilization, conservation, and management of natural and renewable resources and development of climate change mitigation measures. The following are the field of specializations of the Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering Program. Agricultural and Biosystems Machinery and Power Engineering Agricultural and Biosystems Structures and Environment Engineering Agricultural and Biosystems Land and Water Resources Agricultural and Biosystems Process Engineering On June 2005, the College of Engineering and Information Technology, now College of Engineering and Geosciences, officially offered the Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Engineering. On 2016, the Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Engineering program was shifted to Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering when Republic Act No. 10915 and Act Strengthening, Modernizing, and Aligning the Practice of Agricultural Engineering in the Country into the internationally recognized practice of agricultural and biosystems engineering was passed into law and when CMO number 94 series of 2017 was strictly implemented. The program has then continuously advanced from traditional to the modern practice of agricultural and biosystems engineering. The Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering program is a four-year curriculum which was designed to develop agricultural and biosystems engineers who are uniquely qualified to use their knowledge in mathematics, biological and physical sciences, and engineering principles. The said curriculum is categorized into technical and non-technical courses. The technical category are those courses involving mathematics, natural sciences, and professional courses, while the non-technical category covers the general education, NSTP, and physical education courses. The Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering also has a strong program educational objectives that are in line with the university's mission and vision to become globally competitive and sound professionals. In three to five years after graduation, agricultural and biosystems engineering graduates are expected to provide leadership in planning, implementing, and monitoring ABE projects and programs, occupy supervisory positions in private and public organizations, locally and internationally, own and or manage ABE-based business enterprises, pursue advanced studies in ABE and emerging related fields, and occupy responsible positions in ABE education. The college's competent faculty and staff with the aid of a wide range of modern equipment and facilities, allow the students to attain core ABE competencies useful for the comprehensive practice of the profession, such as the solving problems related to the production, handling and processing of biological materials for food, feed, fiber, and fuel. 
preserving the natural resources and environment quality, and the design and production of machine systems. In order to attain the learning outcomes of the students and ensure the delivery of quality education, the ABE program of Caraga State University utilizes state-of-the-art equipment, laboratories, research centers, and other facilities to aid the learning process of the students. During enrollment, the bs Abbey program prioritizes the admission of those with high entrance examination scores and exemplary performance during high school, particularly in mathematics and natural sciences. Since 2005, the number of students taking up Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering in Caraga State University has significantly increased, resulting to the corresponding increase of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering graduates per year. From 2005 to 2020, the Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering program has produced a total of 113 graduates. The percentages of students who graduated on time were relatively low for 2014 to 2016. However, in 2017, a significant increase to 60% was achieved. Now, the Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering is considered as one of the most promising and preferred degree programs in Caraga State University. In order to improve the student's knowledge, abilities and skills most particularly in developing their professional attitude, the program highlighted the importance of instructional materials or any other educational resources to contribute to their overall upbringing. To prepare the students on the actual real field of work and possible career challenges, the students are required to undergo a 360-hour on-the-job training as part of the ABE curriculum, in which the students were sent to government agencies, private firms, factories, processing plants, and research institutions. It aims to let the students experience real-life scenarios in most workplace in their chosen field. The Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering faculty and students in Caraga State University have received several awards and recognitions in the local, national, and even international levels. Some of the faculty members are recipient of the best paper awards and special awards due to their dedication in teaching and research. The Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering faculty members and students are also active in their respective professional organizations with regular participation in the various activities and forums. I always believe in the potential of the agricultural sector. So that's probably why I decided to pursue Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. So along with it, CSU became my option because Basically, CSU is one of the prominent agricultural schools in Mindanao. Um, agriculture is one of the key sectors that provides a lot of opportunities for different people. And I think I would really love to recommend to her. Um, the faculty were so uh, supportive. They allowed me to actually realize my potential there. Um, I've met so many amazing people also. and. Uh, they became my mentors until now and I'm so happy because it made a lot of uh, opportunities for me yet again. And also in Malaysia, um, I went there last 2019 and uh, we won several awards and that include, um, and that include uh, the gold medal award and also the special award for the most green technology. Which amazes me uh, because, you know, um, for a simple, uh, for a simple study to be so uh, well recognized and well awarded, I am very thankful because of agricultural and biosystems engineering. I was able to participate in an international short course training in Silapakorn University, Thailand. Because of this training, I was able to learn about dyes, horticulture, solar drying, and 
its application to their community. This is a very good opportunity for the students who are taking up agricultural and biosystems engineering for additional knowledge from other countries. In participating in this kind of training courses, this will help and guide the students to innovate and develop in the field of agriculture and hopefully will be applied in our country. Based on the recent tracer study conducted by the university, the Agricultural and Biosystem Engineering is one of the top three programs with the highest employment rate of up to 90%. The Agricultural and Biosystem Engineering graduate are receiving an average salary of more than 25,000 pesos. Most of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering graduates are employed in the government agencies, such as Department of Agriculture and its Bureau, Department of Education, DENR, LGUs, and other private firms and industries. Today, by the way, I am Engineer John Weven Itingas, a licensed Agricultural and Biosystems Engineer from Caraga State University. Then I am currently working as an Agricultural Engineer here at the Office of the City Agriculturists of the Local Government Unit of Butuan. As in line with the with my work work experience, the best program na na I share sa akin ng Caraga State University is I think the farm mechanization. In farm mechanization, there are two factors na pwede kong share. First is in farm mechanization, pwede mag increase yung farm productivity. We are we are in line sa aming work na i help yung mga farmers to improve or to to produce more yield that is why we are encouraging them na magamit ng farm ng mga farm machineries and equipments from 2010 to 2019 a total of 140 licensed agricultural and biosystems engineers was produced by the program with two top notches recorded top 3 in year 2011 and top 7 in year 2018. The program also recorded a consecutive 100 passing rate in the 2010 and 2011 licensure exams given by the Professional Regulation Commission. Moreover, the performance of the CSU, Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering, in the licensure exam is consistently above higher than the national passing score from 2010 to 2019. I am Art Kim Dalman. I graduated and passed the licensure examination year 2018. And now I am currently working as Science Research Analyst at the Philippine Center for Post-Harvest Development and Mechanization, also known as Filmet, under the RISE Competitiveness Enhancement Fund Mechanization Program. For me, I guess the best thing or secret is just to strengthen your relationship with God. Not only on exam days, but every day. Before you open your notes to study, ask for His guidance, knowledge, and wisdom. For you to understand the lessons or topic you are going to study. The same thing goes after you study. Pray to God to help you remember what you have studied. And also, you need to practice what you have learned because board exam is not always a battle of IQs only, but also of hard work and perseverance. The faculty members and students are actively engaged in the different research and innovation conducted by the program for the last five years, some of which were recognized in the local, national, and international fora. Uh, the BS in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering program of the Canada State University has contributed a lot in the research and development of the university. In fact, uh, the PILIDAR 2, which is about resource assessment, has contributed a lot of publications, particularly in the year 2016, 2017, and 2018, and uh, the innovations made by the faculty. And I am Jeffrey Tedaliosa, the Director of the Technology Transfer and Licensing Office of Caraga State University. 
and I'll be happy to share the progress that we've made with the BS Agriculture and Biosystems Engineering or the BSAB program of the university. So speaking about um, technology development innovation activities, the ABE program has led the way you know, in terms of the development R&D of uh, agricultural machineries and actually this has been applied with um, different uh, protection uh, patent in utility model and we've seen the impact that it has done in the lives of members of our communities especially our farmers. Good day everyone I am engineer Al Abduhan one of the faculty members of the Department of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering and a current Research Center Director of the Center for Resource Assessment, Analytics and Emerging Technologies, or CREATE. The Center for Resource Assessment, Analytics and Emerging Technologies, or CREATE, is one of the research and development and innovation center in Caraga State University. The center is committed to make the Paraga region's resources and agricultural landscape the platform for research and development in the integrated fields of agricultural and biosystems engineering, high-performance computing, and other emerging technologies towards an institute-based resource management and sustainability. As part of the university's main goals, which is to actively engage in extension services, the Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering program is also taking initiatives and programs that will answer the socio-economic, technical, legal, and other basic needs of the community. Hence, several extension activities and initiatives are conducted by the program together with its partner organizations and the mutual support from the university. At present, there are two active extension projects that the Department of Agricultural and Biosystem Engineering is undertaken and monitored. These are the Kodai si Bobby Barrios, uh, a former student from Talaga State University, and I am the researcher of the study which is entitled Integrated Rice Stealing System. An integrated rice stealing system, akong gilisan ay tilling wheel sa floating tiller. Then gikumbay na ko ang pang tilling blade sa rotibator para mas ma properly cut then properly till and so well for rice field. Nakita na ko na problema sa existing uh, floating tiller. Kay dili niya ma properly cut ang rice straw, stubbles and also the weeds. Then di po niya ma properly cultivate ang soil sa, sa rice field. Then di po niya ma attain ang depth na required sa rice field. Since 2005, the Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering program of Caraga State University has showed promising and exemplary undertakings in the area of instruction, research, and extension in line with the mission, vision, and goals of the university. The Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering program will continue to uphold the core values of Caraga State University, will aim higher and better for the continued success of the program, the college and the university. Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering for Life, Bugsay Pamor!